Okay, I'm gonna start now. So first, I don't really have anything planned for this because I don't know where you guys are right now. So I need the people who are actually trying to learn Dizzy to tell me like what you know. Like, are you like brand new or do you know how her moves work and shit? That's what I need to. That's what I need to figure out. So if you just will tell me in voice chat text, that'd be helpful. All right, I see. Okay, I guess I'll go. I'll do a quick overview of the moves. Uh, I'd also recommend reading the Dust Loop review when you have the time, because I'm gonna. I'm not gonna dwell on them for too long. Uh, you have her like. <laughs> you have fish, right? Fish. This is the most important big move. It's it's your it's the the one move you want to use all the time, because it's it's extremely broken in every way possible. The shit stays out. How do I record this? Um. Only four coins. How do I, let's see. Okay, there we go. This shit stays out on both hit and block. And that's 6p. Like it stays out when I get hit, right? I need not, I need to do this. So like you can like if you can like if you like, if you like start if you start getting comboed I'm failing to show you but you can start getting comboed and fish will like save your life and it's really awesome. Just to uh, clarify, fish eats hits for you. So if you for you. get hit, yeah, I'm will... gonna show that. Out. Yeah, not six p. Like I can just I can punish in the middle. I can ba have basically soul, break his combo. You can have soul do DP with uh, H fish out. And it'll, the, it'll counter hit him out of DP recovery. <laughs> that's true, I can do that, yeah. Um, that's recording too, I think. Or that's not HDP, but yeah. I think this is the most important part, is highlighting how really good fish is, because this is like the one move you want to use really bad. Look at that, see, he just got hit out of DP recovery after hitting me, it's like stupid. And it eats fish. It stays out when I block. So if they're on a block stream, if like if I if I'm like summoning fish and they block, make me block a move, they they die. They have to either disengage, kill the fish safely somehow, or get hit, which is really good for you. I have a, a quick question. Yeah. Um, I'm not super familiar, uh, so I don't know if characters have like a reflect, but can the fish be reflected or like their lasers be reflected? Kind of. Pot Potemkin? I'm going to fail really hard doing this, by the way. So keep that in mind. Where's Potemkin? Potemkin has a move has called Flick, or FD, it's FDB or some shit, right? It's just Flick in this game. FDB is like the Strive name. How do I, what's the input? Uh, half circle back, I guess. Yeah, so Potemkin has Flick, right? Oh, it is FDB. He can Flick Fish. He can Flick Laser Fish. He can Flick most projectiles. Okay, but it doesn't go back at you, right? It just goes It does. Away. It just didn't look like it because the, the projectile hit fish. Yeah. Do a wheel. I'm trying. I don't think wheel can be reflected. What? There, like that. Yeah, you can. That, that works for laser fish too, and it'll usually destroy the fish, which is not the worst for you because you can do that. You can do like this. Long, long timing. Okay. <laughs> you can, like, go into him and oh. punish him for it. Okay, cool, cool. Thank yeah, you. it's nice. But anyway. I'll go back to Soul because he has all the wake-up options that I need. So yeah, Fish, really good. Another thing Fish is really good for, this is why I'll get into this more later when I get to like, her offense. Wait. Fish can eat DPs and wake up. Like that, and you get DP save Oki, and it's really nice, because you, you, don't, you don't have to think. Thinking and not thinking is really cool with this character. So basically, Fish enables a really powerful neutral game because you get two commands. And you get to run up and do things and throw them in between moves and shit, like tick, like stupid tick throws and stupid mix-ups. And also, it makes her really safe, because she can't get... What? I got hit by DP. I did get hit by DP. But um, it makes her really safe, because it absorbs hits and it stays out when she gets hit in block. That's another kind of a theme for moves, though. Because this is Knife. Well, it's called... I don't know what it's fucking called, but we call it Knife. I use this to get fruit. Yeah, I use this to get fruit or something. So this is a, this is a negative edge move. Um... Are you aware of what negative edge is? Let me just explain. Negative edge is like when you hold the button and you release and it comes out, right? 
So as long as you hold on for it for a specific amount of time and you release and it comes out. So this is like really fucking good. Cause you can just like jump around them and shit and then release and you get it is and it's tracking. It's a homing projectile, which is really nice. Okay, well, um quick question. Uh what's the yeah. extent of which it tracks? If if people are like jumping around and air dashing, will it's it It's not over? the best tracking, but it does oh. the job. So it's so like fine. Can, like most people can air dash over it. You can run under it usually too. Or run under it, yeah. The best way to deal with it is just like jumping when it flies at you or I being in the air, but that's different. Um, I'll go over that later too, dealing with Dizzy. Okay, so the good thing about knife, what makes it really nice, it stays out when you block. So you get you get to punish people when they when they pressure you, which is really nice. However, smart players will um I'm, oh my god. You can't do go. run wild. <laughs> <laughs> this is smart, so what smart players will do is they'll see you have knife out and you're sitting there. And they'll run up and wild and they'll run up and throw you. Which is good. It's something to keep in mind. So it's, like an RP, it's kind of like an RPS, but it's weighted in your favor because you just release enough at any time. So does it go away um, if you get It goes away if you get hit. Grabbed? Oh, okay. If you get gotcha. hit or grabbed, yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So, um. The knife is really good. This more you so it's it's also the best thing to use on wake up on their wake up if you don't have a if, if you don't have a fish if like if your fish is on cooldown because it just got destroyed, you want to use um you want to use knife and you can get like a mix up. This is nice, but it's not as good as fish. Knife disappeared. No, it doesn't. Oh my god. Oh yeah, the hitbox has, it has a rising hitbox, which is really nice. It, it, it gives at least a big damage, but that's later. But yeah, it, it doesn't disappear from block. It can't anti-air, which is really funny. Because it's like, not that bad, it's really high reward. Anyways, um, next is Ice Spike. This is like your main combo ender, right? Not on the mid-screen, because it's bad, bad knockdown, unless you have the FRC. Oh my god. So like, this is your main combo ender, it does good damage, and you get like a setup after it. I'm gonna turn reversal off, this is annoying. <laughs> So you get mixed up after that, or like a setup. However, in mid screen it launches really far, and you get like a really bad setup. Like you don't get, you get like an RPS and immediately wake up, because you can ice spike. But I'll go over that later more too, because I'm trying to avoid talking about setups right now. But it's also like it's also like a frame active, so you can use this in neutral, as like a call out tool. But it's like it's super unsafe. It's like minus like twenty seven. This is also bigger than it looks, or not? It, 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 it's, it's smaller it's, than it looks. Yeah, it's smaller than the animation suggests, but it's bigger than it feels, basically. Which is nice. Wait, so this is like minus 27 though. So if you whiff this, or you they block it at like a close range, you're gonna die. So it's like a yellow tool, basically. Use it, it's good on counter hit. It's really nice. Would you recommend using that as kind of like a meaty on their wake up? Or is that- is Only- there It's a like, so the, I showed this before, right? Which is laser fish into meaty DI spike. That is an RPS. If that's like to catch them jumping out of the laser fish, but it's oh. safe because you're full screen. Close up, you do not want to do this ever. Oh, okay, that like, this sucks. This sucks. So only, f only like really far away. What happened? I must have pressed wake up. Okay. Um, on counter hit, as you saw there. Where the fuck is counter there? This shit launches that's super. The, what? You were on the. Oh, my, 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 my bad. Okay. On counter hit, this launches, you get Frioki. You don't get that with normal Ice Spike. You get, cause like, you can't... This is not, not, that is not real. Oh, let's see you have the FRC, which I can't do in training mode for some, there we go. But yeah, let's advance. You didn't need the FRC if it was a beginning player. You should just avoid going for Ice Spike knockdown, basically. Anyways, next is Wheel. Wheel is kind of like a weird move. Wheel is... Some sort of pseudo zoning tool that's also for pressure resets, but it's really bad at the FRC. It's strange. I don't know. I don't use it very often. It stays out on hit after a certain point. Like, if, if I get hit during that, it stays out. But I don't know how to simulate that. It's just weird. I don't know. I don't know what you'd use this move for. You can use it after like a, as like a frame trap after things, but you want the FRC. You can show the other wheel too. There's two. Yeah, S wheel. S wheel goes down and starts lower and goes up, so it's nice to stop like people running into you as approaching. Well, this one starts up and goes down, which is good to stop air approaches, and also it can drop on them during pressure if they're like pressing a button, which is nice. Um, 
Yeah, I should go over the specific types of fishes. I'll do that after I do the special I have a, moves. A question about the wheel. It doesn't look like it completes the entire arc, does it? It kind of looks like it disappears, but I don't know. If um, it disappears right there. For this is S wheel. So S wheel disappears at the top. Mm -hmm. K wheel disappears at the bottom. Oh, okay. But well, if they get hit, hit, if they get hit, it disappears. Like um, I can't hear. Let me get out of the corner. Like, it, uh, does it? I thought it did. Maybe not. I guess I was wrong. I lied. My it bad. Maybe if it, if it has three hits of projectile. Oh, yeah, yeah, if it has, if three, it has hits. three hits, it just disappears and it doesn't complete the arc. Oh, okay. Okay, so, so next. I believe is... it also eats other projectiles because it has three hits. Sure, maybe. But I don't, I don't know, know why you're I doing I think it's that. really weird. I think it's a really weird type of move because it's like it has like a lot of forward momentum, so it can go through things like Justice Nuke. I don't know. That's like advanced. You don't need to worry about that. All right, next is Bubble. Bubble was really fucking good. Bubble is actually fucked up. So the way it works, this is really confusing for new players sometimes. So you summon the bubble with 214 in the air. There's three arcs on um, P, which is straight line. K, which is a, a little bit downwards. And S, which is much steeper downwards. Never use P bubble. There's no reason to use P bubble. Just use K and S bubble. K bubble is like the best one typically because it's a really good arc. Well, P bubble is good for certain combos and also if they're like right, right next to you. So the way it works is after a certain amount of time, the bubble will pop or if you hit it with a hitbox. It'll pop automatically. But only your hitboxes. The opponent cannot pop the bubble. This is really good because you can trade. If you, if someone hits you while you do that, the bubble will still pop and hit them out of their combo. It is really nice. It's also you can really pop big. The with your projectiles also correct. Hmm. You can also pop the bubble with your projectiles, not just your. Uh, yes, you can. Okay. That's a part of a combo theory, but yeah. Cool. It's not as useful, but if the knife can go through bubbles sometimes, it's really nice and it'll save your life. Bubble is like your main non-committal neutral tool because everything else is really slow. So you do like something like you'll do like bubble, you like you'll do like TK bubble, air dash back JS, it'll pop the bubble, you get space, you can summon something, or drop P bubble, you get like a quick pop, quick pop, they block it, you're plus. I don't know, something like that. Um, then you have your FBs. Her force breaks are really good. You have FB knives, which is three knives, and it tracks, and it's really fast. It's also plus. This is kind of like the newbie crutch normal. People don't know how to deal with this, so they people use it. so you can use it a lot and get away with a lot of like games. Like here. But you can't negative edge it like. You can't. Uh, no, it's automatically. Yeah. You can just jump for attempt to beat it, but people don't do that. So you know, people will complain about this button a lot. You will hear lots of complaints about this, but use it. It's twenty five meter. Jump it. I thought you, you can, can just jump, jump it. Jump, no, you can just jump it. In the air. In the air, no. Uh, you get that's a I different just, move. We'll go around in a minute. Oh, okay. I just teleport into it every time. <laughs> you can also like jump IB it. And you get your air options back and like yeah. But anyway, that's a really good. It's good in neutral. I would just use this. You can also use it in pressure if you're like if they block. And you can use this. You get like a pressure reset. You can run in. It's a little, it's slightly slow, but they're not matching there anyway. So. And then you have FB bubble is like. The best FB ever. It's just so good. It's so it's tracks. It's a bubble that tracks and it's huge. It's way bigger than normal bubble. So this is like if you if they if you use this in neutral, they have to respect you. They can't they can't do anything about it. So you basically it's basically a way to get a free summon no matter what. It's nice. Alright, next I'll do the types of fish, I guess. Alright, P fish. So, so well the way fish works, you get two commands, right? You do you do two one four and then a button and then a second button. And one bun, one fish comes out, and the second fish. So P fish is two bites. This is really good for tick throws, because you get shit like this. That's three tick throw setups in a row. You can throw between any of these fish hits. This is really cool and nice. And her throw, her throw game is phenomenal. K fish is yeah. Fish. Um. So if you. Uh, give the fish two commands. Will your cool cooldown last twice as long? Or no, the cooldown is set always after fish disappears, no matter what. Oh, okay, and it's always the same, um, the same amount of time. Yeah, it's actually no. There's no reason to ever do one fish command because it actually has a longer recovery if you only do one. Oh, wow. which is really stupid. Yeah, so just always do two, even if you don't know what to do. Just match like P or D, and it'll, it'll work out. Also, like. After a throw, the fish just disappears. Oh, yeah. and goes fish, always, fish always fish um, always refreshes after throw. Like, it always refreshes after throw. But like, it's also a positive, that. because it uh, disappears if Dizzy gets thrown. Or, I guess a positive yeah. if you're fighting Dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> throw, so you don't get like, hit by fish out of Cinematics, like, throws, or like some supers, will cause fish to disappear. I don't know the actual rules behind it. 
but it's just how it works. <laughs> a weird thing is it'll disappear on air throw too, but the fish cooldown won't refresh automatically, which is strange, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, K fish is the next one. This one's like fucked up. So K fish is your main your main starter corner like mix up one. Cause this is three bites. You get they get locked in and block stun for like a billion years. You have time to do so much after this. This is also really fucking bad in neutral. Never use this in neutral. It goes nowhere, and it stays out for no time if it whiffs. But by P-Fish from before is good, because it's like it's annoying. It stays out for a while, and it tracks far. Um, S-Fish is generally the most worthless fish summon. I like it, though. It's a high laser. It does two laser fish. This is a high one. Um, It's good for catching jumps. It's pretty much worthless in mix-ups, though. Unless you do very specific setups. Um, H-Fish is the same. It's way better. This is much better. This is a really good fish. This fish is a full screen laser that stays on screen. It's really active. It's super active. It's like 36 frames or some shit. And you have like a lot of time to do it. It's low block stun, but you don't really don't need that. It is How good. How many hits is the laser? One hit. Oh, okay. Okay. The favorite fish, the best one, my favorite fish, D fish. This shit. Big bite staggers million damage. Look at this the is, damage. Yeah. Look at this damage. 60 raw damage. This is how beginner players will get damage. Because you could do setups with these, and set, most of your setups will end in D fish. Like you'll do KD or PD or DD. And this is how you, they'll end with a stagger, which lets you either get an ender combo like this into a knockdown in the corner, or you get a throw and you get to do whatever you want. This fish is really, really good. Also, so good in neutral. Because they like catch them running at you, and it's, it's like a dandy step, basically, like Slayer. It goes back really far, so it's evasive. Is there any reason to actually throw after the stagger instead of pressing, like, You get like, better Oki. Okay. Oh, okay. But, like, I don't know. It doesn't really matter in the corner. Mid-screen you want to throw always, though. Because, um, mid-screen, if you do this, like, the fish will not be refreshed by the time you need to get knocked down, basically. So you want to throw. Mean. Um, that's just special moves, right? Did I miss any of them? No, I did two supers. Okay. I'm start with Imperial Array, because we have, we have this question <laughs> one for last. Yeah. <laughs> Imperial Array, this is your best super. The super is pretty good. It's like a full screen laser. Oh my god. So you might imagine, it's, it's, okay, it's okay for neutral. It will push them back full screen. You get a summon, basically, because you're plus. You're like plus a billion. And that's good. However, the real use... How do I show this off? And not, okay, let me just try to get a bubble loop here. <laughs> Hello. All right. I'm gonna fail. I don't do bubble loops anymore because I judge them to be kind of not great, but I'll do my best. I'm doing really bad. It's fine. It started with 6p. Oh, wait, that doesn't work. Can't do soul. a soul. Yeah. Here, I'll just do them. Um, let's do the. I'll always try one more time. I miss it. I'll just explain it with words. Oh my god. Okay, we'll ignore that. But, okay, whatever. So basically, this, this will give you. This is guaranteed gives you a knockdown at any height. If you hit this move, you get knocked down, which is really good for Dizzy because her air knockdowns are really bad. She doesn't have them. Because if you, so if you get an air hit and you can round him Imperial Ray, do it. That's why it's really good. Um. Anyways, I, uh, I have a random hmm? question. Um. Uh, I don't know what the mechanic would be, but if it's a Dizzy Mirror match, can you guys pop each other's bubbles or no? Is that not a thing? Okay. No. I was just wondering bubbles are always popped just by yourself. Gotcha. Don't okay. they not change color? They don't. Well, because so bubbles you, never change color, no matter what the color is, anyway. So you just need to know what your bubble color is, or which one's yours. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So next is the funny move. Let me get. I need. I need. I need to pull something up specifically for this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Not. In, are you not gonna do gamma ray? Oh, Gamma Ray? Gamma Ray is fucking worthless. Never use this move. It's an Easter egg super. I don't even know the input. Is it that? Yeah. This this move is absolutely worthless. Never use it. It's terrible. It costs 100 meter. It's bad. A million years of startup. <laughs> Alright, now. And where you can never see it. You can never see it and it's Shut bad. Up. You get nothing. Coffin. This is your reversal super. However, it sucks. Really, really bad. So there's a certain little video I made to showcase that. <laughs> I would advise to watch this. is a really good video. video. I'm not going to run the video. <laughs> watch this on your own time after this. It's a really okay. good video. I put it in voice text. It's However, video. I will show one character's answers to Coffin just to illustrate how bad this is. It's going to be Abba. Oh, no, Cliff. <laughs> I, I knew it. I knew it. Wait, actually, I should I do this. I, don't know. I thought it was going to be Abba. Alright, so Coffin, it's a command grab, unblockable, pseudo-hit thing. 
I don't know how to explain it. It's a mess. It, this is like a programming error of a move. The way it works is it's, an, it's a command grab technically with properties of a hit. But no, rather it's an unblockable with the properties of a grab, so it loses to every type of invul in the game. And also anything that's a pixel above the ground. So like, watch this. No way, I did the wrong thing. Okay, there we go. So you can jump a post flash, or you can do this. I, how do I time this? You can do it. Clip two D. Clip two D. Ground and normal. Dodges this. I think. Clip five K. Dodges this. Post flash. I think no, not post flash. I don't know how to get to her. I know T five got to her once. I got it. There we go. Oh, okay. there you go. Yeah. Yes. 2S, Beast Coffin. <laughs> There's more. I think 6P Beast Coffin. Yeah, 6P. I bet 5D Beast Coffin. Oh, 5P, 5D Hella Beast Coffin. I don't know how to... I don't know how to do time. I know this this works. I don't know how to time yeah, it, Yeah, because you see Cliff's feet are off the ground for a little yeah. bit during that animation. Yeah. You have to be stuck to the floor to get hit by this. Yeah. I can't time it right, but you get the idea. There's also... And five super. One pixel and, uh... Oh yeah, and what's the super fast super? There we go. Watch this. Yeah. Watch, watch, you're gonna see something very funny. Watch this. Okay, I need to time it right. Yeah. So this is throwing bull. This loses to half the moves in the game. Don't use it sometimes. Use it sparingly. Is what I'm trying to say that was that, the whole gimmick. The whole it exception is. I it is know. for only reversal. So. It is for only reversal. Does that shockwave um, super not have any invul? The shockwave super has throw in vulnerable. It has it has everything invul at the start, but it's like oh. everything beats coffin. Coffin's not good. It's, I'm just trying to illustrate that this is a move you should be using in some matchups, not at all, and some matchups very sparingly. But it is your only reversal, so you have to use it sometimes. Anyways, that's all for moves, except normals, I guess. But I can go over those specifically when we get to neutral. Um. Should I start with defense, neutral, or offense? Probably neutral, right? Okay. So neutral. This is really weird. Disease neutral is kind of atypical because your FS sucks. Normally, so you don't have a you don't have like a you don't have like a typical like mid range poke. You have like five H, but it's kind of slow, and the hitbox is the hurtbox is kind of bad. So you have to play like a really weird mobility game because she has really good mobility with two rare dashes. So you want to run around and like poke at them with your two K is really good. You want to use this to poke at them two K and five K. You want to run around and try to make space. If you can get like full screen summon, that's perfect. So your main, your basically your main goal in neutral is to air dash around at them, annoy them until you can get a summon out, and then attack them. Because this now you're much better than them in every way. If you can get a fish out, you basically win the neutral. So, and then you can get a knockdown and runner offense. Um, TK bubble. I went over this before. Really good. Air dash back. Pop it. Pop it. They have the block. It's plus eight. I think you get pressure or you get a summon. It's like yeah. I guess I should here. My main neutral setups I use, I'll do three. HH Fish. This is two lasers. This is really good for how long it stays on the screen, but. I should do this for a little while. But, if they jump over it, it's out of the game entirely, and you're on cooldown forever. And that's not good. So, this is something you should only use it there at really far range, or you will lose. Not lose, but like it's not it's not not a good situation to be in. Um, other other good ones that are less committal than that. I like B. I like the, so there's PD, which is two bites and the big bite. This is good. It stays out a good amount of time, annoys them with three hits, and the big bite is really good because it's evasive. There's also DP, which is the opposite, and it's better for close range because it goes back. Um, you can basically basically use those three fish, P, D, and H, to mix them up between your, like... Do You can do any combination of these, and it's good. You just have to play a lot, and you'll get to judge of when to use which like which combination, basically. And that's kind of how our neutral works. Knife is really good if you can get it off, because it's less committal than fish, and it's, like, still strong. You can use wheels sometimes, I guess. I don't know. I don't use it. So, yeah, poke with our normals. Anti airs, 2S, and air throw. Air throw is the best NA air. If you can do air throws, I advise practicing them so much. Air throw is really good as Izzy. You get a knockdown. This is the only way to get a knockdown of an air combo, basically. Because you get to 2S, you get like a Gatling into nothing. You get a summon sometimes, but it's not as good as you get an air throw. And that's her big main weakness.
Um. All right. Offense. Any questions about neutral or anything I should have went over that I might have missed? No. Okay. J two S. Oh, J two S. This button. I K. There are, you can't combo with Aerothrow in this game, unfortunately. This is not multi blood. It would be nice. I would love if I would love if DZ could combo into Aerothrow. I would fucking love that. You have no idea. I didn't go for Air Normals. That's probably a good idea. Um, her Air Normals are really fucked up. This is JP. It's big. It's big. It's generally non committal. It's good for poking and tick throws in the air. You can do like falling JP throw. <laughs> it doesn't make do it deeper than uh, Johnny. Does it deeper than JH? JH. No, joke? not Johnny JH. Dizzy JH. Oh. No, How do you stall away for fish to cool down? You run away. You use your air dashes in like your normals. Yeah, Dizzy has two air Preferably dashes. Preferably you don't have to. Because if you if you want to be able to like get a throw or some sort of knockdown if you have a fish out, because you Yeah. Alright, hey, JP. If the fish is out and it's being useless, you can still like stick next to it so that it eats it here. Yeah, you yeah. JP good whenever that JK, this is kind of a weird normal to use, so you can avoid it if you want, but it's it makes you small. It's four frames, your fastest air normal. It makes you really tiny in the air. Kind of like Soul JP, but bad. But not bad, but like worse. <laughs> it's faster than Soul JP. It is faster though. than Soul JP. So this just active for like what, eight, seven or eight frames, so it's really active and it's really small, so it's nice. JS, this is their big air to air. It's a gigantic poke. It's really nice in the air. I do, you can do air dash back JS and shit like that. That's really nice. It's good. J2S. This is the one everybody hates. Everybody hates this normal. This shit's throw in vulnerable. This is the only air throw throw in vulnerable in the. This is the ugh, only throw in vulnerable air normal in the game, and it's bug. Most likely due to a you. coding error. Yeah. They can't throw you if you do this. And it's really. It's pretty and big. It's, it hits really low. It's for the entire duration, too. Yeah. So. It hits really low, which is nice. So some characters rely on air throw for anti airs a lot, and you just yeah. cannot air throw it. Okay, but the real best air normal that you have, JH. This air normal is fucked up. It's level like was level five. Level five. You have so a million a years of... of plus frames. If you land, you have a million years of plus frames to do anything. And even better, sorry. If you I... counter hit them, hmm? uh, quick question: What does yeah. level five mean? Oh, attack levels. Um, basically, a Guilty Gear is a system where every move has an attack level and that judges how much hit stun it gets. Oh, okay. There's yeah, a chart of them on the dust loop. That's the simplest way I can put it, I think. Oh, okay. Does it... But, like, uh, basically... I will link it. So, they, they go yeah. from level 1 to 5. Like, if you look at Soul, for example, Soul's highest level air normal is JD, which is level 4, and that one has landing recovery. Uh, yeah. Which... Which means, like, it, so, like, uh, for example, it puts them into, uh, sorry, what? one second. So, Souls JD is going to put them into 16 frames of block stun, but it has 5 frames of landing recovery. So, you could say that's, like, effectively 11. Isn't this working? Unquote. I see. Do they also have, like, more priority when they, like, uh, I don't interact? think or so. Priority doesn't oh. exist in yeah. this game. Oh, sorry. Basically, what we're trying to say is a level 5 air normal is really unprecedented, and this is really unique and really good. You, If you land after. Uh, you can't get the counter hit, so you can't show it, but. Do you on the enemy tab? No, you're on, not the, on the enemy tab. This is. Wait, you have to be in the enemy tab? What? Yes. No. You even did it earlier. You have to be in the enemy tab for counter hit. Yeah. Oh, I thought you'd be in the player tab. Well, I guess I'm stupid. You're dumb as fuck. It's you okay. You have the counter hit combo in your it. life. You did it earlier yeah. too. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but, right. but basically, you see? Dizzy, if you if you hit a JH at like maybe like the lowest possible height, um, you're gonna be plus seventeen. Yeah, block. you're like plus a billion. Wow. After especially on counter, like how much? Look how long most done. characters are expect are can expect to be like maybe plus ten at max. Yeah, you're really it's really good air normal. However, if they block this in the air, you're fucked. This thing has a million years of recovery, and you can't galling out of it. So if they airblock this, you're like dead. You can't go into JD. No. Oh, no. Damn. Okay. You have to like you just get air, you get air thrown or they hit you with a ground combo or whatever. You yeah, know? Actually, it's okay. Soul has no Gatlings out of JH too. Yeah. Well, just fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Neither does Chip. Okay, JD. This is like I don't know. It's okay. It's a big spin. It's it's two hits. It's your air it's your air combo ender basically. It has very niche uses for neutral, but I wouldn't recommend using it. Get used to using JS, J2S, and JH. Okay. Okay, now, offense. You got a knockdown, now what do you do? So, Dizzy has two realms, mid-screen and corner. Preferably you want corner, but her mid-screen mix-ups are actually kind of better sometimes. They're just less safe. 
So to do these, you need to know what kinds of knockdowns she has. There are three important knockdowns. There's 2H, there's 2D, and there's Ice Spike. Don't do Ice Spike mid-screen if you get a combo. Ice Spike is for nerds and accountants mid-screen, okay? <laughs> you don't do that shit. It's really bad because they get launched forever away. I'll show you a sub later to deal with this, but it's not good. So the combo, I'm going to show you to be a pro Dizzy player, how to get it every setup you want. You do 2K, you do 2K, 5H, 2H. That's the one combo you need for the entire character. Because it goes into really fucking good knockdown. You get amazing setups after this shit. That's how you, so basically 2H to 2D. If you they're too far away, you can run to 2D and it's the same thing. All right, your basic mid-screen setups, I'm gonna show you the big damage, all right? This is really easy, it's really big damage. You get a 2H knockdown, you do DD, 2D fish, you air dash over them, and it crosses them up. This will hit every player first time. And you do air dash back, JH, 2S, JH, and you hit them again, this is a million damage. Look at the health bar. I have this on the starter guide on the Dizzy page. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna like glaze over a notation just to show you how that works. But they're all on the starter guide in Dizzy Dust Loop, so you can look there for more like concise information and easier to read. So this step, just basically I'm trying to show you is mid screen you get cross ups, and in a corner you get a high low. Is what I'm trying to communicate here, I guess. And then anywhere you can get 2D knockdown, you can do PD setup, like a P fish. You get the tick throws I mentioned earlier. In between fish bites, you get like throw setups. A good thing to remember is that you should try to keep yourself kind of fluid with the setups. Like, you can mix between them, and you don't want to be, like, too locked into, like... How, how do I put this? You want to you want to be in setup theory rather than being in, like... You working the concerned. setups on dust loop and just repeating them, I guess. Like, you want to be able to mix and match. Okay, so mid-screen, the biggest ones are also on the starter guide. DD, 2D fish, and then PD, which is tick throws. In the corner, you get the best fucking setup in the entire game. You get the best Oki in the entire game. This is the best Oki. You get KD. K fish, D fish. It's really, really good. Why? You get a high low. It's a 50 50. It's completely reversal safe. And you get a combo after. So, your high, so this is for most of her setups. Her high option is jump forward, late air dash, day 2 SJH. You, have to be as, you want to be as low to the ground as possible with this late air dash. It's just kind of hard. We can get used to it. For the low option, you do jump forward 2k CS 5h, not taunt. 2k CS 5h, and then you get in the D fish hits, and you get a combo, and it's wonderful. And then, okay. So I guess I'll go over how it's reversal safe. I had all these set up, but I kind of messed it up. You could also like look through a replay, I guess. Yeah, but then I have to like find different examples for each one. That's true. Here, let me do this. This is a better idea. It, it's not possible for the fish to hit low, right? They always just hit like, No, mid. the fish is always, no, mid. always mid. Thank yeah. the lord the fish <laughs> cannot hit low. <laughs> there, should be, there should be an FB fish that's a high low, but yeah. if God hates us. Dizzy needs the unblockables. Dizzy needs you the unblockables. What? If the FB fish, if the FB fish uh, replaces D fish, I might be fine with that, actually. No, <laughs> I'm going to take that. Okay, so imagine you're playing Soul. You're in the corner. She does throw this... All right, did not I save that? No, I didn't, I'm sucking stupid, okay. No, she does a combo and ice spike, which is fine. You can do combo and ice spike in the corner, it's completely fine. I didn't do that wrong again. Okay, I'm bad at this, my bad. Yeah, all right, there we go. Oh, right, you get the idea. Okay, so she does, she does a combo, right? I'm a soul player, I'm like, hmm, I should look up reversal. The fish that didn't work. What the fuck? Okay, I'm, this is not working with me recording this. I need to do it myself. This is I hate training mode. You know what? I have a better idea. I'm gonna do what Darkhoff said. <laughs> I'm pulling up the replays. I think I'm pulling up the replays. Training mode. Good thing I've played like 70 billion games of Darkhoff lately. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna find Let's out what I knocked out. Find to my godlike reversal. Yeah, I can show replays later too. Wait, you know that. Wait, did you DP there? Oh my god. Oh my god. Coffin. Did you DP here? Don't use coffin. No. <laughs> Wait, can you. 
can you just replay the okay. over and DP there? Like oh, that's true. That's real. Oh. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's much simpler. You can rewind faster if you hold A. Okay, here we go. Let's see All if right. you can hit I was the like... time, man. Well, it's kind of, I, need, I need like one where I like bait it, you know? Because like I need, I didn't do I did it wrong there because the defish the, the, the fish went behind you. All right, find so, another setup then. Okay. Nah. Oh, here you go. Nice slash back. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very talented. We'll find one eventually. This will be worth it. This will all be worth it. This is really this is really a messy teaching session, but it'll all be worth it. Oh, this, is, this is like a this isn't doesn't work though. Well, you can see <laughs> here's, 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 here's a fine example. Here's a fine example. I just don't care because fish is there, which is really funny. Oh wait, did I do a fish there? No, I didn't. I'm stupid. This should work. Yeah. No, I need to go pack, brother. Okay, here we go. I can't hit the reversal timing. That's Give impossible. me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I don't play soul. It's also harder off of the thing. Yeah. I'm actually mashing this shit. You have no you idea. Could, uh, you could uh, do it where go you go right before yeah, the yeah. frame he gets up. If you and Fisher hit at the same time, the fish will tank the. No, just skip. No, stop it. And then frame advance. The it, frame I'm that frame he gets advance. Up. How do you frame advance? Just when paused, click left, right. You. Like it's pausing. So with pause with Y, pause with Y, not with the start. Okay, button. now oh, go back yeah. okay. and go to the first action. Yeah, uh, which like, is the first actionable frame? The frame right yeah, here. So okay, well one more. One, go go behind one more. Go back one more. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there. And then just do that and hold the hold the button. Like buffer the motion when it's unpausing and hold the button and it'll give it to you first frame. Maybe you're doing can it you too. Can the motion during the unpause? I don't yeah, think you can. you can. I've done this a million percent. I can um, stream it's not this working. if you want. I have these games. All right, here you do it. Yeah, that's a better idea. All right, go to okay. dark stream for a moment. We're gonna. Over I have to launch the game. Is the, the fish real HP challenge the is number the soul of hits? Execution. What do you mean by that? Is the fish HP the number of hits? Yeah, fish just always dies in one hit. I mean, fish will always tank it if it's over you, except if it bursts. If it's burst, burst will always hit you priority. It'll always have prioritizing hitting you, which is really weird. Okay, look at Dark Claw's stream. He's my aid. It's sometimes better that burst does that, honestly. Oh, this is, this is yeah, it depends. I like I would like a better of a kid fish if I'm being real. Well, no, yeah, sure, but that would be like silly. So it would be silly. Sometimes you get like insane shit because the fish yeah. is still hitting them. Oh, yeah. and Here we go. Their Something funny, I gotta show, I gotta find a replay of this. You suck at this dark cost. Yeah, my bad. See, I told you. What the? This replay takeover is broken. Here, fine. I get it, I get it off these every time. Okay, see, that was holding back there. If I was holding, so the issue is I'm buffering a motion, right? But if I was, if I was in this game and holding back, I would have. Did I really? Yeah, you got oh, I see. Yeah, you okay. Got okay. Well, ignore that. But you see how I base the DP, and now do like do like backdash. Backdash oh, yeah, okay. for the for what's worth is the best is the best option versus dizzy pressure, because she if you can get it. I, it hella can frame, tank layers punch so super. It basically tanks any strike other than first. <laughs> no, I'm already blocking there. Okay, in fairness, reversal backdash is a one frame input. It is, I get you. So, something funny, a funny interaction, you know, Justice has a Michael Blade super, right? Where it hits full screen. No matter where the fish is on the screen, even if it's incredibly far behind you, it'll still take the hit, and it looks really funny. Okay, we yeah, got the idea, it's fine. Do Grand Viper. I'm gonna die. Yeah, that's the point. See, Grand okay. Viper? It's also a good option against Izzy usually, because it's like, um, it's a little profile, right? Grand oh, there, Viper, that Viper, Grand Viper. Yeah. yeah. But if she does 2k BD while fish hits, it'll catch both Grand Viper and BDP oh. safe. But also Riot Sam wins. Riot Sam's fucked up. Anyways, you get the idea. It, it beats, Dizzy fish is incredibly safe and beats a lot of reversals. That's the, that's the main idea you need to get from this, I guess.
All right, you're, you're fine, Dark Hall. You don't need to hit I it. I can't reverse them back. It's fine. Yet. I'm gonna end your stream. Okay. So that's her offense. That's basically how her offense works. You want to put down fish. You want if you want the setups, I put them on her strategy page in Dust Loop. But primarily, you guys should look at the starter guide. All right. Next is defense. Now this is important because you have one reversal, and I told you, I showed you earlier what happens when you use that reversal against some characters. So you need to you need to improvise basically. You need to you need to use your universal mechanics and use them well. I'm gonna do my best to record a safe jump. This is gonna go really bad. Nope. Nope. That safe jump or is that too late? Wait, I just do it with it. chip. It's free. You're right, but I want to do a soul because. But I have two DBR. It's way easier. Okay, not I mean, like, now it should be a safe. Uh, that wasn't a safe jump. That's too late. That that's a safe jump. Was it? Oh, okay. That's the hell of a safe jump's coffin. I'm I ass at the game. My bad. Damn. That was too late. That Man. that works. That should okay, work. one more, one more, one more. That's fine. There we go. Okay, we're good. All right, now. If I was holding, yeah, see you safe jump that. If you were holding up there, it would have. I should have held up in the replay, but holding up would have dodged coffin entirely, and I would have gotten smoked. What is going on? Okay, so coffin is typically not a great wake up option because if, if a projectile is active too, it gets beaten. But you can watch the video and you'll see a lot of things that beat the coffin. But um, so what you want to do instead is a pretty is a cool trick I like to call wake up back dash. Wake up back dash at Dizzy is really good because she has a pretty good back dash. And it'll dodge a lot of things. You can get a lot of things with this. Also, smart use of flawless defense and instant block. Instant block is like kind of hard, but it's something important to learn. It's really nice, and it's really good against certain characters. Every character. Yeah. Anyways, that's kind of her defense. It's like you just gotta play the game. Get used to the get used to the other characters' pressure. Get used to the system mechanics. It can be hard. You're gonna die a lot. She also has really low health and stun, so you will die. But as you get used to it, it'll get a little bit easier. What's the window? And I beat eight frames. However, there's a lockout. So if you missed it, if you missed the window, you're locked out for like, like 30 frames. I think it is, or maybe it's 20. It's one of the two. Um, if you have played Strive, IB is kind of nothing like like it. It's... Yeah, no, it's it's a completely different mechanic. IB and in this it, game reduces frame advantage and gives a lot it's of meter. Like in Blaze Blue. Yeah. Except Blaze Blue has no IB lockout. But other than that, yeah. Yeah. It basically it's it's basically just a defensive option. All right. that you can now I guess use, even what if... I want to do here, because that's kind of like what she does. It's kind of hard to explain because I don't want to get into like, notation. You know, I don't want to be like sitting yeah. here and lecturing you about what exactly the setup is. So I'm gonna open a replay, and I'm gonna talk about it basically, and like my mindset and neutral and things like that. So I'll start with what's a good dark cloth replay? Let's pick, let's pull Pick up this one. one. Okay, pick one where you win. This. No, this you is when this you're, one? No, pick one in the middle when you're not like when you're warm. Yeah, up. you're right. You're right. It's good idea. Okay. You're, you're, yeah. I win this. You, you, you win this one. We'll, you, we'll do this one. We'll okay, see where I mess thank up. Thank you for picking yeah. one where I win. <laughs> All right, round stuff's important. What do I do in round star? Am I stupid? No, that's fine. Air dash back. Bubble round star is perfectly fine. This is safe. It's like so not I was illegal. calling that out also. Yeah, you were. For the record. But like normally people will not do that. Air dash back round star. How do I put? Wait, why? Right. It's non-committal. If if I had a little bit more time, I could have done JP pop and then smoked him for it, basically, right? So you have a lot of options here. Round start bubbles and things like that. ID back bubble, ID back normal, or like ID back summon. It's safe and it's good. Okay, he called that out though. Whoop, I didn't even do that. So he's gonna, he's gonna get like a and I jump. JH, no, look combo. at that! Look at that! Look at that counter hit! It's so much and that gets set up. So this is the mystical KD setup. It's really good. That was a delayed high. If I had hit this, it would have gone into a billion damage. Because it's a bubble loop. And yeah, use FD, IB. Now, this is a tick throw setup. I was analyzing Dark Class habits for that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I, I, like, I like lecturing him about it after that, but like, you know. Okay, that was, that was, so, this is like, this is a standard high mix up. You do delay, you do jump delay, air dash. And you get like, get like pressure after that. And then I die. I think I dropped this. You do. I'm like 99% sure. Nope. Yeah. Oh, I dropped the last hit. 
And then air throw that. Air throw's really good. I'm really good at air throws though. Yeah, see DP safe? Oh yeah, you I know why I did that. I think I dropped it. <laughs> I'm talented. You got hit by an air reset. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see, when you get when you tech FD, please. In the round start, not recommended. <laughs> Not recommended. That was the player matchup thing. But yeah, I got no, knocked down. That was down. me trying to do 2D, by the way. Yeah, I get, a play, I, I get knocked down. I do KD. Again, I mess up the setup, but D-Fish saves me anyway because this thing's busted. 2K pressure is really good. 2K and CS. 2K and CS is really good. Oh, I forgot to mention. On, on, on defense, throwing on a barre is fucked up. Because it's like your throw range is humongous. So the defense throw range is, yeah. Second, Second best, in the, best game. in the game. Yeah, if you can find like a gap to throw, do it. It's really good, and your ward off throw is the best in the game as well. And you're you're the best grappler, basically. It's kind of awesome. Dizzy's throw range is longer than Souls, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I do low. It's no, I do low. I'm pixels. doing too many highs. That you were saying that you said I'm. Free. I always blocked a high because you always yeah. did high. IBs, back dash. See, this is keep mix up between FD. I don't know why I did that. After burst, you should like run away and not do what I did. A lot of people super jump, or a lot of people IAD in after burst. Yeah, you can like 2 2s. I think I die here. I hope I land this combo. Nope, I dropped it. My bad. I don't know. That, that's not a bad idea. That wasn't a terrible idea. Epi bubble in top of the air, it's like a stalling mechanism and it like. Um, do one where you win. Show them I'll what do you're supposed win. to do. Yeah. Alright, let's see where I'm start. I'm gonna, if I do ice spike, I'm gonna like turn the replay off. Okay, I did fit. That's fine. There's some in. It's risky. It's really risky. But if you can like get a read on your opponent, it's like the fine. It's like a fine idea. It will Fall lose to a lot of pokes, which most of most pokes. Yes. Don't do that. <laughs> Cause see, the throw right there. I've already throw. He tried to do a throw mix up. I mashed. I messed up the setup. He's got like. I was insane. See my, my see my my neutrals. A lot of me like going, running forward, backdashing, and doing pokes rather than trying to summon. Take throw set. I'm gonna medium. Neutral of all time. <laughs> it really works. No FRC. I suck. See, that's a medium you can do off of ice spike knockdown. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's the you could explain the ice spike thing. Yeah. Okay. So, so see how I so I missed the FRC in the ice spike here, right? So I have to go. I have to take a. I have to take a shitty shitty HH setup. There's an RPS here, or. But what he can do is he can either jump because it's fake and he can air dash in at me or he can block it. If I think he's going to jump, I'll do this, which is D-Ice Black Meaty, which will catch the jump and I'll get a combo off of it with the H fish. However, if he blocks, he's like, fine. He gets to block the fish and do whatever he wants. Well, but okay, if he... So... It's still like safe. It's safe. No, but it's not like... The fish hits and then you do another ice spike. And then well, that's only if you... Just... That, that's not recommended if you block it. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. no. So... Whoops. <laughs> My bad. Right here. So the other option right here is um pause. Is that he would have he could have jumped if I didn't do ice spike. If I didn't do ice spike and he jumped, he would have gone out. Or if he didn't jump and I didn't do ice spike, I got an air dash in, I get like a basic strike throw mix up, right? So it's like a weird RPS, but it's not very good. So you you want to take a normal knockdown. And I knew that was coming, so I slashed yeah. back it, which is the equivalent of like third strike red parry, essentially. Yeah. Oh, right, I forgot. Fish eats dead angle. Don't dead angle fish. It never works. You can be smart about it, but it's really hard. I remember I messed that up situation DP I wanted to delay my... Therapy. No, you, it was not a bad idea. You just didn't delay enough. Sorry, so speaking of which, um, dead angle, if it hits the fish, will it make it like go away? or? It kills the yeah. fish, but I get a it combo. It kills the fish, but you, get, you die. Yeah, yeah, you get hit. And like, the fish will get off the fish. The fish she doesn't get cool hit, so she can yeah. punish you. Yeah, and the fish will get off of cooldown anyway, so I get to get another fish out. Oh, dang. Okay. It's really good. <laughs> Riot Stamp is really good if you play Soul. I don't know if there's any Soul players here besides Dark Cloth, but... Yeah, that was just a frame trap mix-up. Oh, I get mashed, opened yeah. up low. Dude, that was an you accident. You could turn inputs that. on to see what, oh, yeah. uh, what, what I'm holding. It's a good idea. What was I doing on Wake Up? You're probably mashing DP or something. What? what you just, you just didn't block. I, I just did not. I, no, I, I was, I was, I was blocking high. I did. I that was the time was an accident happens sometimes. Coffin sucks. As you, as oh, you yeah. see, yeah. you can classic still get coffin. caught. You can get hit by coffin and projectile will trade with it, and it's really bad. Anti-air clash, normal. 
Nice. Oh yeah, Diddy the entire time. Two S is two S is like good reactively. Cause it's 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 really small. It makes itself really small. I should get display hitbox. I don't want to cheat. You have the hit. You have. You don't have cheat. I don't want to do it right now. Um. So it's really small. You don't get a good combo off of it though, and it has a lot of recovery. So if you whiff, you lose. But it's, it's good. Yeah. Look at the damage on this. Oh well, you dropped it. I mean, basically the same shit. It would have been like no more anyway. That's plus. So yeah, get throw mixed up. Not bad. I like that one. So what I did here. H fish it will not hit meaty, and I know that. So I run up and throw him, and I wake up. However, you have to keep in mind, there is throw in vulnerability, uh, throw in vulnerability, and wake up. So I have to delay it slightly. Well, like for like wait, seven frames. No uh, one. Okay. I, think, I don't know. So then I can, after that I can throw him. So he couldn't match this. It's kind of a fake setup, but it's like a good. But I'm kind of I'm safe because of the fish, right? So it's like it's pretty decent until they start jumping. I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> that was Yomi. It's first bait. That was first bait. And I win. <laughs> Reversal wild throw is not what you should be doing in these no. situations. Let it be known. No, oh, wait, this, 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 oh, I this, forgot this, about that. I forgot wait, about I this shit. That. <laughs> this is insane. This cross is insane. <laughs> How did I block that? Wait, I crossed it. No, I blocked it correctly, I think. No, I crossed the protection. Uh... No, you're not. It's still fucked up. <laughs> it's still really <laughs> fucked up looking. Yeah, defense FD, mix of FD and IB is really good. And you can jump out. Another thing about why DZ's defense is bad, when you jump, you're fucking humongous. You have a tail, your tail is a hurt box. Like right here. Everything, you're humongous. This is huge. So you wanna jump FD, which makes you slightly smaller. I can but show stuff off of Cheat Engine uh, in a second. Yeah, okay, after the after replay, we can do that. It. Yeah. My IB is kind Still of. Nice. Fish, I could have taken advantage of that there. I could have. I could have killed him. But fish hits the eats the hit, and I could have hit him. Nice. No combo though. Combo? No. I don't know what happened there. Um. Uh, there's a six frame window between gunflame FRC or it's oh, like I see. four frame between gunflame FRC and the projectile actually coming out. I see. Yeah, dizzy air throw is good because I get. Uh, That's what I'm trying to emphasize is a lot of this neutral is not actually summoning. It's it's a lot of running around and trying to get a hit or an advantage so I can summon semi safely. Two K is also really good. Two K is really good. Summoning and neutral is not recommended because you're like 30 frames. You can't, characters in the games are really fast and have full screen moves. Nice dead angle again. Again dead angle not working. And then, nice. I probably yeah I just I was just yeah. mashing there. Mm -hmm. All I right, you can pull up cheat engine if you want. Okay, I can show you. It's like hitbox and hitbox interactions. Yeah. With the. Uh, Does he so I mentioned once again? In training mode. Um, probably be play is fine. Anyway, so I mentioned six P in the chat. Dizzy six P is her worst normal by far. It's don't use it ever. Like not, nah, it's just bad. It's a it's a terrible anti air as a wall bounce property, which is good in the corner for some combos, but they're character specific and are scaled usually, and it's just not worth it. Um, let's find you jumping. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, there you jump canceled. Look how big she is rising. She's humongous. Look at that. She's huge. Yeah, that's a She's pretty fat. big. That's a pretty yeah. like if you also if you compare it to souls here. Um, it's yeah. really big. Um, here. Can you find my jump FD? Yeah, jump in a neutral. Or, I want to find you jumping in, like, neutral. Yeah. Where's, where's one for pressure right there? Yeah. Yeah, see? See, I'm really big, so, like, the, the, the see, hitbox near the bottom it, hits so me. So, another yeah. character, if they jump there, they would have gotten caught by gunflame. Yeah. She's so Wait, big. Instead, look, 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 go back she... to the IB. Go back to the, look, how, look how much the tail is the hitbox. Like, it's not even her legs. Look at that. She's humongous. Yeah. Oh yeah, and in the block animation, uh -huh. all of that down there is a hitbox. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna get, you can get hit by stuff like that. Jumping is still the best option. It's just harder to get out. I want to see if I can find Souls jumping hitbox. Oh, it's like yeah, five. it's a little smaller. It's a little thinner too, cause she has wings. I wanted to see if I can find one where I press. Or do I? Why do I not jump FD? Like, come on now, <laughs> JP. Is there Soul JP? Oh no! Okay. Oh, it's just for Or like, like the big thing 
Uh, I guess this isn't the soul lesson. But soul's like her box is tiny here. Yeah, it's, compa it's comparatively to Dizzy. It's just a good way to yeah, showcase. Yeah, like look that. at this comparison of her box. <laughs> <laughs> this is soul, and this is Dizzy. It's pretty insane. Yeah. I want to see if I can. I can do this in training, probably the two S thing. Yeah. Like show I off. Needed, I just want to ask as well. Is there anything specific people want to know about? Because they don't really have anything like specific to talk about now. Um, is there anything a uh, new, like, uh, Dizzy player can do that's just very gimmicky and strong? <laughs> Tana block. No, that's just a joke. Don't do that. Um, um, just fucking KD setups gimmicky and strong at every level of play. So I guess just look when I go go to the starter guide that someone linked earlier, and look at the KD setups and do those in the corner. They're really that's a big anti air. It's kind of yeah. Good. So it's a pretty big anti air combo. Give the recovery on that though. Yeah, just gonna, a lot of the blue is the hitbox in, yeah. in the hitbox that's playing this, the blue is the hitbox. Yeah, it lasts a long time, which is not good. It's, it's a it's big error. Like, against like Soul in particular, it's not very good. Yeah. Like, Look at JP. <laughs> Soul is tiny in the air. Like, yeah. I'm literally, I, I can just go through it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Her anti are not the best. People will overhype her anti a lot, but it's whatever. Look at this hurt box. <laughs> this is me pressing it's so a button. Small. It's so small. Uh, but yeah, like Soul can also um, Soul can just outright beat this hurt box a lot. My biggest advice is to go into games and get used to her normals because they're kind of weird for beginners. Like especially her far slash. Her far slash is a gimmicky anti air thing that I wouldn't advise using often. Oh yeah. Hold on. She's. I think she's just kind of a character where. It doesn't take too long to get to the good stuff, so you don't really need no. to. So the thing they like, call Dizzy stuff, is, right? she's really easy to win with if you get a hit, right? Because all of her all of her execution and offense and stuff is low execution, but her neutral is really weird, and you take a lot of damage. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. I'm basically just saying like, there's no reason to like try to rely on like gimmicks. Yeah, gimmicks. Yeah. Her best stuff. Her best stuff is kind of better. It's accessible. Like, yeah. Lower level. Lower I can get an epic class. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but like the main thing is like a lot of people think far slash is really good. At this first, is crouchable for every too. character except except. I mean, Potemkin. soul. Can soul can exist under, it, yeah. under it. Yeah, yeah. but, but it's crouchable can... by every character except Potemkin. So you don't want to use it. However, I guess Potemkin is really fucked up. But that's like matchup specific things. Soul can exist under it, and you can. Yeah. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, that's a meme. But yeah, the issue is, like, most characters can find a way under it. Like, even a character... Hold on. Uh, Johnny can just crouch it, color. yeah. No, Johnny can't just... Johnny can, uh... So, like, right you think Johnny... No. He, Johnny's very tall, right? Yeah. Johnny can crouch it, right? But if you do six... If you do that... Ooh, oh, wait, that beats it? Well, 6K huh, is... I did not think it would beat 6K. Wow. No, I yeah, it beats it 6K. Beat. Any little profile move to lose two base. Oh, okay. Well, that was recovery. I think that, yeah, that might be recovery. Yeah, jo okay. Never mind. It's cracked against Johnny Six guy. <laughs> it's move broken. Okay, I guess you can keep that in mind. But yeah, I don't really know. I don't really have anything like specific field Dizzy's played to talk about. So I don't know. If there's any questions, I'll take those. Otherwise. What does Chip do against Dizzy Far Slash? Can't Chip six run P, under? 6P, 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 6P. Chip can six, 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 six beats every single one of her normals, so just do that. Slash, I can't. 6P is fucked up. 6P is fucked up. But yeah, the gen Dizzy's bet like stupidest normal is 2K. You know what? If there are no questions, no, I'm gonna... Up, why did you pick my core? <laughs> I'm sorry. If there are no questions, I'm gonna stream the Coffin CMV. Just for fun. 2K is a really hard normal to do. Is there any questions? Yeah, I'll take those now. Sure. But if it's not, which coffin CMV is required viewing for it is required players. viewing for Disney players. players. It does. I have one last extremely important question. Yeah. Um. What is uh Dizzy's coolest color? Dizzy's coolest color is the one I use. So you can't use that. However, her second coolest color is like it's like Reload H or something. Gotcha. Anyways, I'm gonna stream the CMV. You're gonna you're gonna enjoy this a lot. How, how many people have here have seen this CMV? I have. That's true. I know like half the people here have. I watched it. But we're gonna. I'm gonna. Watch, I'm gonna stream it again. I, I watch this many. Has many anyone? Times. Ha has anyone here not seen it? I haven't seen it.
Okay, that's okay. good. This I'm not sure important. Shane used to see it either. Okay. This is a really good video. You're going to love this. Again, once everyone's in the stream, I'll... everyone's basically okay, everyone's here. Two okay, two people haven't seen it. This is important viewing. Here we go, baby. It's more useful than you might expect. It is really useful, but maybe not for us. <laughs> <laughs> it tells you when to that's avoid me. using coffin. It does. Uh, T5. This is when it gets really fucked up, because you get cliffing. Everything cliff has beats this. Do yeah. not use Generally, it's unusable in the cliff matchup. Just never use it. Uh, I'm, I'm not even a joke. Just don't use it in that matchup. Is it worse against cliff or abba? Cliff. Because cliff does cliff is in the air for his okay too. Like with abba, you can use it as an abari sometimes, but cliff you just never use. This combo is so fucking good. Do not press coffin at full risk against ghost and abba. <laughs> This is actually like an optimal punish. It's like an optimal combo. Yeah, that Eddie move is um throwing vulnerable. vulnerable. And also he gets four drunkards here, which is like a five million meter. Oh, yeah, did I build 50 meter from that combo actually? Does he build 50 meter from that combo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it, 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 there's so many hits. Yeah. I never noticed that. That's really, I never noticed that either. That's really funny. Noah JD was talking about that, where it's like, if you Get do, like, again. people, like, doing more than four sidewinder is not worth it. <laughs> it's probably real, isn't it? Oh, like, combo is adds, like, good. five to ten damage, and it gives them, like, 25 meter. This combo's sick. Dorio's kind of awesome. For the record, these combos, if you're, like, newer to plus R, or you don't know. <laughs> these are not oh, yeah. practical. <laughs> Most of these are not. It. <laughs> Most of these are not practical, is what I'll say. Yeah. If you um if you're new to like plus R, you don't know what like CMVs are about. They're not really about showcasing practical combos generally. What's up with so the quality? You're not gonna like a jam isn't gonna do this to you. Yeah. In well, game. This combo, this combo no, does a little bit of damage. This combo, everything but the starter is pretty normal. Yeah, nobody, no jam does pillar FRC. No, but I'm saying this like they, they'll still do like sixty percent. They, they are also not doing that end. That's true. <laughs> but um. The funny thing is, while the combos aren't practical, half these starters do happen, and I've gotten hit yes. by most of these starters. Like, obviously not like the, the super ones, but like, I've been beating, my confidence been beating by most of these moves. That's an unblockable, It's unblockable, yeah. It's also yeah. practical. <laughs> that's, that's a practical unblockable. Yeah. It's really cool. Romaru's got like, I've gotten hit by that before. Oh yeah, Coffin, also, the one saving grace of it is that it's not counter hit state it's at all. It's not counter hit state for some reason, which is really weird. Except in Mugen, it's counter hit state. There's, yeah, there's one exception to this <laughs> that yeah. you may see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, she's dead. This also it's shows Dizzy's right. low life bar. Low life bar, low stun. This one's really cool. This one's really cool. Yeah, so that's a projectile. Yeah, it beats, that's, that's very normal. That's, hum that's incredibly normal. That'll happen a lot. That's so cool. How OTG often this confirm happen? I've gotten hit by something like this before. But not obviously, not obviously this exact combo. Dude, this, is, this shit VA does in games, so... Alright, this part's so cool. The fucking... The bird link into net is so cool. It's so cool. It is. This game's kind of awesome. This is Bungo's. <laughs> oh wait, it's coming up. The story around that combo is only that block string could create the spacing necessary for this combo. It's just really funny. Yeah. Bungo also did this combo like four times. Yeah. yeah. For no reason. Oh, this is this. This one's... is awesome. This is very match practical, as this you can is see. A match practical. <laughs> match practical yeah. four bomb combo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she gets stunned, but I think yeah. most characters get stunned from that. Yeah. This is another Romaru. Romaru's a go. Yeah, so that's just like a regular Slayer meaty. 6k, yeah. very common meaty, and it's just gonna beat it every time. Yeah. This is the best kind of view because it's educational and awesome. But yeah, coin trade, that sometimes happens. That it's wasn't even a trade. Well, it was the, trade, the trade will happen though sometimes, is what I'm saying. Yeah. It's kind of hard to trade. This was awesome. Okay, this, See, this is I would, say, I would say this is not practical, but Stormlock would do this. 
So Robokai, this uh, Robokai can slash back his like overheat yeah. explosion. Only one player will do this though, so don't worry about in the majority of matchups. Okay, this, this is... one. Right, this one's a this bit one. complicated. <laughs> All right, this is this is a this is a coding lesson from Guilty Gear X and Core Plus R. <laughs> okay, so for some unknown reason. If you do Kai's charge drive super at a certain spacing during super flash, he'll trade, but he can be actionable after it, but still get sucked in. And if you set the, if you get like a bot, like an Eddie input to slash back every single frame while he's going down, he'll like overthrow, th overflow through the floor and end up in the ceiling. Yeah, and you get to combo like, off of it. His Y position gets overflowed, yeah. and then you can combo off of it's it. It's never happened ever, but it's really funny we found this. We don't know what happens. This we don't is know like a happens. 150 meter combo. Yeah. This is a normal with MVP combo, but then you get hit by the fucking... <laughs> yeah, so if you're signing up to play Dizzy, you are signing up to, like, get murdered. Yeah. The thing is, also, a lot of characters have a very hard time comboing Dizzy. Yeah. Um, which is... That was really cool. And also, the risk gain is actually, like, acceptable. Because of how Zappa works in this move. Oh my god. Yeah, uh... Like, for example, Nova. Soul's highest damage routes don't work on Dizzy. <laughs> the fucking or they, they do, but they're not consistent. Yeah, they're hard. I've tried to do them before. <laughs> this combo's really cool. Yeah, Stomp. And Butterfly. That link's really awesome. So this story, don't use it against ABBA. She can just do Super. <laughs> Or like any other other moves. Half of her moves beat it. And it's also Abba, who is like it's the highest Abba, damage character yeah. in the game. I think Midi 2H can beat it. It does, yes. Yeah. It does, because she's airborne. It's also yeah. a throwing bomb. Yeah, Alright. Oh yeah, I know, but I didn't know if the throwing bomb like overlaps. Now it's time for the real video. No, this is the, the yeah, that, oh that's coffin trading. It's coffin trading. <laughs> This combo is really cool. Basically, it, is, it does not beat unblockables. <laughs> this combo is really cool, but there's no damage. This one's so cool. This one's fun. It's normal. <laughs> Look at that shit. The back hit, <laughs> Pop Bunker is like the sickest shit. This one's this one super is insane. <laughs> There's a, like a two paragraph long explanation how to do this combo a bit in the oh, and why it works. <laughs> yeah. This is just cool. I don't think there's any reason to do a doubling cost. It's really cool. Yeah, that's true. Fun. Yeah, this is kinda normal. I've happened this happened to me before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Uh, this one. This one. Pay attention this to one, this one. This one's very important to know. This is very important for your gameplay. This one. Do not press coffin against Toki. <laughs> Don't coffin versus Toki. Don't coffin versus Toki. You'll get FKO'd. Superior beating coffin's messed up. No, the, the superior doesn't hit. I know, but that goes over it and you get a oh, throw. Oh yeah, it goes over it. This one's another match practical Faust combo by T-Spin. <laughs> and this one's actually possible at least. It's possible. <laughs> that one is quite match practical. <laughs> this fucking combo. That's an IK glitch. You can... <laughs> this is three. This is the average chip me. combo. The average chip combo. The average chip combo. There's a pentagram in this stage. Yeah. This one's fucked up. This is Why actually like a practical combo. It? It's stupid! Apparently this combo has like a one frame link in it somewhere. Huh. I could see it. Or like a one frame micro dash. This combo is stupid because Tommy would have beaten if she did a little bit later. This combo's pretty cool. This is the first Bridget combo to do damage. Yeah. 
<laughs> this is a recharge route. Yeah, it was good music song. The, the damage. It's um, 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 killing machine. That's it. Okay, yeah. Machine is true. Combo that this is like barely a combo. This combo's awesome. This is the only one cool make on the. This might be the first cool make. <laughs> first cool make combo. It's so cool. May has like JI uh, dolphin stuff. Actually. And that's Jason Riot. This is Jason Riot. You might have yeah, heard. Yeah, you might have heard of Jason Riot from the cheating allegations. This is Jason Riot. But this is yeah. him. He did, he didn't cheat this combo. I promise. This one's legit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's not over. The this, these are the real optimal combos. <laughs> Gold Johnny. Do not click. Do not press coffin against Gold Johnny. <laughs> Do not press coffin versus the gorilla. <laughs> yeah, that has a one frame link in it. It's a one frame link. Oh, hey, it's me. Yeah, you were Doki. He was Doki. You have a Doki in the voice chat like right now. In a row. He was not cheating. Yeah, he wasn't cheating. He was just not makes, cheating. It just makes the joke funnier because now Jason Riot's like known. Like among yeah, other people. It's the, like the biggest the plus R scene ever got. Yeah. Jason Riot. <laughs> <laughs> See the joke is that that's not actually Jason Riot. If you couldn't tell, yeah. it was not, it was not plus R. It was yeah, not plus R. <laughs> You'll see more of that game Riot. in a minute. I don't. Yeah. I don't this, know. Oh yeah. Don't yeah, come in versus you. Fans here. Don't come. Yon don't come versus you. Hey, 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 hey. I don't think- see, I, I told Jason Riot once, thanks for your work on the CMV, and he got really confused, it was really funny. <laughs> oh yeah, so ABBA entering, um- <laughs> ABBA entering Blood Pack has two frames of random invulnerability. Yeah, that goes- uh, We got Shamison, we got the big Compton. names. This is AC Slayer, this by the way. This is AC Slayer, by the way. Yeah, this is when he was, like, top three. Yeah, this is a gorilla. <laughs> yeah, this is a gorilla. There is a girl in this video. This is actually a normal combo. We just didn't have time to include in the video, so we put in the credits. It has a lot of damage. It's fucking stupid. Is Bike and JH level 5? Um, I don't think so. Damn. This one also Leon. This is also Leon, yeah. I think Leon did every Anji combo. No yeah. actual Anji players got in. I got one from another Anji player, but it wasn't as cool, so I didn't put it in. There's the Rugal. Don't press Coffin versus Rugal. Don't press Coffin versus Rugal. <laughs> oh God, press you. Um, it's unusable in this matchup. I <laughs> can he do OTG? I don't know why. Oh, this is a Reload Slayer, by the way. This is Reload Slayer. Watch him. Watch the health. Watch his health bar go up. <laughs> He's kind of the Elena of Reload. This is EX Soul. It's kind of like unlimited characters from Blaze Blue. But like, um, less cool. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. This is. <laughs> this reload? is GG Reload. Yeah, this is Reload. Yeah, this is Reload. Yeah, this is Guilty Gear Reload Cliff. Oh, uh, yeah. where he was a boss, <laughs> boss character. character. He, the story about this combo, he had to get bad RNG for that to work. Yeah. It's really funny. That's Hugo. Don't press this against is, yeah. Press against Hugo. This is SBC smoke. Chaos Hugo. Yeah. Do not press cops <laughs> SBC Chaos Hugo. Oh, this right, is this awesome. Is EX Order Soul? EX yeah, Order Soul is the coolest <laughs> EX character. That's a uh, 10 JDs. Dust, by 10, by 10 the way. JDs. It's so sick. Oh, uh, yeah. AC Cliff. Yeah. It's a character. That works. <laughs> it was also a boss character in AC. Yeah. He was also a boss character in GX um, Plus R 1.0. Plus R? That's true. It, it was, that was a joke. He was fucked up broken in 1.0. Yeah. This is GGX. This is GGX. Yeah, everyone's favorite game. Okay, this, this next one's, one's this a bit more of a niche route. This one... <laughs> <laughs> that's the one you, you might not have seen Don't this press Coffin. Before. Don't press Coffin versus Rao in HNK. <laughs> He's gonna side loop you. He's gonna drop every two frame <laughs> He's gonna link. Drop every two frame link. <laughs> this is a god like clip. I think the coffin CMV is really all you need to know about the Disney. Yeah. Adventure. Anyway, that's kind of my lesson. I don't know. I didn't really organize it. I just I don't. I don't know how to teach, but <laughs> I tried my best. <laughs> so yeah, 
if you have any questions, ping me whenever I'm open for that. I'm better in text because I can think before I talk. But it's it's I think I I hope I was helpful a little bit. And there's also the starter guide. Look at the starter guide. I wrote that one too. I like Dizzy. Dizzy's kind of awesome. Kind of an awesome character. Yeah, no problem. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>